let's assume that you are creating a notebook called Nkangala TVET. Remember, a notebook is going to be electronic. This one is going to be an electronic notebook. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open an app for notebook. So I will just go and type it here. You will also do the same when you open it. Then notebook. So notebook 2016 is what I'm using. You can even use notebook 2013. You'll find it on your computer. So if I click there, it will open a notebook page. Remember, a notebook is replacing what was done in a normal book. So that's why here it's a book that is open. But there is nothing. First thing that should be given to you is the name of the notebook. Okay. So the name of the notebook that you are adding or you are creating will be saved automatically in your folder in my documents. So what I can do now, I can create, let me just say add notebook here. Okay. You see, this is the first screen that you actually get to specify what is the notebook name. So I can save this in my PC notebook name and say uh, Mkangala TVET. Mkangala TVET. And then creating a different folder because maybe I want to save it in my folder, in my documents, the folder that I save my work. In your case, it will be the folder with your say name. Do you understand? So you find it. You look for it until you find it. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to save this in my documents, in my own folder that I use. N5, all right? Gangala TVET. When I click create, it will create that notebook that actually was supposed to be created in the beginning. So... Now, when you start, it will be like this. I just took you back a little bit. Then I'm going to create the sections that I've just shown you a few moments ago. Click here, click there, click there, click there. Now there are five. And then when I come here, I will say, right click, rename, and then call this middle bag. You know how I did this. Back. Then this one, right click, rename. This one will be with bank. Then I'll click rename Bondo. I'll click rename Bova. Right click rename and then this one will be CN. So these are sections and now on the right hand side we have pages. So if I'm going to go to Middleback and I'm told that Middleback should contain pages called HR, BM and NCV. I would make sure that middle back type is the one that is up a little bit. Because you can see that all of them, they are down except middle back. It means now I'm focusing on middle back type. Then when I go on the right hand side here, I can click this icon of add page to add pages that I want. Currently, you'll find that already one page is created for you. So I need three. So I will add two. I will click and click again. So there are three. So each and every page must have a title. When I click here, the title will be given to this page when I type where it's blinking there on top. That is how you rename a page. So I can call this HR. And then you see what is happening on the right. Automatically, it's naming it. The second one also, when I click there and click there where it's blinking and I say BM, automatically on the right hand side is already changing. The third one, I can call it NCV. There is changing. So in this book, I have a section called middle back. Inside middle back, I have three pages. So when you do this, you will also change to with bank and check how many pages are going to be inside with bank and what are the names. You add them first and you name them one by one by writing there on top there where it's indicated with a big cursor that is blinking. So let me go back to middle back. So after, let me go to HR page. Okay. Now, under HR page, if I have information to type here, maybe you have paragraphs that you are given, pictures to insert, you just press enter after typing the heading there. It will take you at the bottom where you can type information that is given to you. So let's say I have a paragraph to create. My name is Li Bishi. Enter. Maybe I need to put a picture after that, under that. 
So you, when the cursor is blinking, now you can go and use the tools like insert, picture, and insert what you are given. Maybe the pictures are part of the uh, files that are loaded for you to complete the task or in the exam or the test. Then you go and open the file with all the folders that you have or the pictures that you have. Okay. So I'm going to take any picture that I want to insert. Let me take this one and click insert. So the picture will be part of the content that I'm creating. And then you continue and create more. You can press enter and create more text as is given to you, just like that. You can even move this whole sec uh, page. This is The page looks like this. This is a page on a section. It's not like Microsoft Word where you scroll down to pages. This page I can move it to be on the right hand side by holding it on this strip line there. And then I can click here and just go and drag it to where I want it to be. And here put something else. Okay. Or put it at the bottom or at the center where you want it or according to the instructions that are given to you. So everything that you are going to do on OneNote, you must be careful that you are creating that whatever content in a correct section. See now, under Woodbank there is nothing, under Pondo there is nothing, under Bova there is nothing, under CN there is nothing. But if I go to Middleback, that is where actually I've been working. So now you understand. So what if you are done and you close? How do you get that work back? How do you open it again next time when you come? You don't open a new note, one note again. You go to the folder where you have saved in your folder with your same name or where you are saving your work. So in this case, I will open where I'm saving it or where I've created it. And then I will go. I want to show you what you will see. When you go there, you will find a folder that is created for you automatically with the name of the notebook. Are we together? The name of the notebook. So when I open it, I find all the pages or the sections that I've been creating in that notebook. So these are the sections that I've been creating in the notebook. And this is the notebook itself. So the notebook will be written open notebook. And the, the others are the pages one by one if I want to only focus on them one by one. So I can open the notebook, double click it, it will open again. Then I have it, I continue, I continue, I continue, I close. Why don't I save? Because it saves automatically. Whatever you do, even when you put just a full stop, it will save automatically. So that is how you start working on a notebook.